When he was about 70 years old, clearly what occurred to him was, I don't really care what anybody else thinks at this point. I've got something that I want to bring up, which is the possibility that animals actually have awareness. And he published a book called On the Question of Animal Awareness. And it's clear he published it then because he had tenure and even he already had tenure in his nursing home and he wasn't going to get booted out by everyone saying, oh my God, did you see what happened to Donald Griffin? He used to be a real scientist. What happened to the guy? Here he is sitting around speculating on do animals have internal lives of awareness and what he did was outline how, what a research program to get at that would be like and people have been studying it ever since and showing that animals have strategic awareness. They are doing all sorts of subtle stuff, really interesting field. So starting it off with that, closely related to that was the issue of whether animals have self-awareness. And we know that dogs don't because they will bark at themselves in the mirror for the rest of time. But do animals have self-awareness? This was something pioneered by a guy named Gordon Gallup and like one of those brilliant, elegant studies. Here was what he did. He would take a chimp, a captive chimp, and he would give it a mild anesthetic so the chimp would be a little bit drowsy for a minute or two. And while it was down, he would quickly run in with a magic marker and put a little circle like on the forehead of the chimp. Chimp comes to, goes back to its business where there is now a mirror in the room. And at some point the chimp comes up to it because they'll wander around and encounter this. And here's the critical question right now. Can the chimp figure out that's not another chimp, that's me? And what the evidence was that he produced to suggest this was precisely the case was showing the chimps were now far more likely than at the chance level. You see how it's being set up as a well-designed experiment. Far more likely to look in the mirror and scratch here to see what is this thing? Where'd this thing come from? And that has been viewed as the gold standard for self-awareness. Do you look at that and respond as if you were knowing that that is you? rather than that some other animal. And self-awareness by this test has been shown in all sorts of species. Elephants by this rule have self-awareness. I don't know who puts the magic marker thing up on their forehead, but when you do that, they will bring the trunk up and investigate it. But interestingly, marmoset monkeys, those delightful pair bonding for life, you know, South American monkeys, marmoset monkeys don't have self-awareness. And that's kind of puzzling because all sorts of other primates that in a rough way are as neurobiologically complex had it and they don't. And okay, so marmoset monkeys don't. But then an ethologist, a guy named Mark Hauser at Harvard, thought in the monkey's own language. And knowing marmosets, he was a marmoset researcher, in order to spot this on your forehead, if you were a monkey, you have to be looking in the mirror something very close to looking in your reflection's eyes. And marmosets don't do that as part of their social system. They never noticed there was this up there because they never look up at that part of their reflection. So what he would do is he would now do the same paradigm and put the little dot here. And marmosets, off they are a minute later trying to figure out what this thing was about, interviewing the animal in its own language.